what's up guys welcome back to the channel um in the one of the first episodes i did with the fd i had shown you um getting it back from paint and how it looked how the interior was completely stripped out and there was nothing inside and i was going through the process of trying to put it back together even though um i didn't take it apart and uh you know the dash is out all the uh you know steering column was down center console was out nothing was in the car um nothing was in the trunk it was a bare interior um it took me a while to sort through the bolts um things were labeled but i had to kind of get online and look a little bit more and uh kind of get things situated how i wanted uh luckily um i did not get the car with rear cubbies or any kind of like rear um uh, shielding stuff here. Um, I, I did get a couple things like you know these top covers and these covers and and whatnot. But um, uh, the big components, like the major stuff that kind of makes up this rear end, I did not have. So I found someone in Maryland that was selling some. I grabbed it from them and I was I started to put the interior back together. So as you can see, we have some fresh door cards on. Um, everything situated, handles, everything works. Um, everything works all the way up to here. Um, the dash now is back in 100% and uh, steering column is up bolted in I'm waiting on the gauge cluster and hood uh, bezels um, I have them coming from Texas a guy in Texas had them he was selling them so I went ahead and uh, picked them up I still have to find a center con console HVAC bezel plastic um, I haven't been able to find one for a good price recently so I'm not really sure if uh, if I'll have that soon or not. Um, center console's in. I like I said, I got that centerpiece from a guy in Maryland. And then um, here's the rear cubbies. Let me get the light. So rear cubbies were in decent shape, not crazy good shape, but decent shape. Um, I was able to kind of recondition them a little bit, get them installed, um, get these rear speaker plastics installed because the ones that I have over on the wall are non-speaker plastics. So um, I wanted speaker plastic ones, so I went out and found some. Um, headliner is also in I am waiting on the driver's side sun visor to come in I had to get that from the UK um, so that's on its way to me right now um, this rubber door trim as you can see right here I got this out of a burnt car so it's all good here it's a little burnt up here but it, it still is doing the job so I'm gonna keep it um, these pieces right here came out of a burnt car too and uh, I've been slowly trying to piece this car together. I've been buying stuff from all over the country uh, to get it back in shape. Uh, locally, Maryland, the United Kingdom, uh, where is it, California, Canada, everywhere to kind of get this car back together. Uh, luckily, I've been able to find a whole bunch of stuff. Luckily, I had a lot of stuff. And uh, unfortunately, there's one or two items that are kind of been out of my reach like uh this rear trunk plastic i haven't found a good one in good condition the hvac console uh same thing haven't found a good one in good condition a lot of right hand drive stuff out there uh left hand drive stuff is very limited surprisingly very limited um but you know actually it shouldn't be surprising because again they made way more right hand drives than they did left hand drive so it is what it is um passenger plastic is on everything's good there I need to get this center um, mounting piece in but my clips are broken so I have to get uh, center door sills I have to find some um, so you can see now the dash is in everything's in a pillars are in it really is starting to look like a car and um, I'm excited to drive it I really am I think that uh, I think that is really just gonna be an awesome car when it's all said and done and um, I'm not really doing much with the body. Uh, I'm just trying to get it back on the road. Um, I have some future plans for uh, motor performance, stuff like that, um, but nothing is set in stone. So I uh, have to keep tuning in to see what I decide to do if you're interested. And um, yeah, so that's really the big stuff. I wanted to give you an update on the interior that it is in, it's pretty much done. I'm just waiting on like four or five pieces and uh, we'll be good to go. Um, kind of been keeping the trunk as my little holder for all the stuff I still need to install uh, but uh, this came together great um, all this trunk stuff came from a car local to me in Virginia that a tree had fallen on the front and so the guy rescued all the rear stuff out and he gave me a great deal on it so 
um, that and uh, this downpipe that's right here. Um, so tons of awesome stuff there. Um, tons of more stuff I still got to do. Uh, these arms are uh, getting coated and uh, I got to clear coat them here soon. Um, and that one needs to be done. There's the Neo Maxes getting ready to be installed on the front. I'm gonna do an install video there. The install on the rear is done. So if you take a look, um, I have the rear Neo Maxes in. I have the sway bars in, um, and then I have my new StopTech rear brake stuff in with my stainless steel lines. Uh, the rear brakes were coated, cleaned up. Um, the best I could do and uh, I'm excited and everything's really starting to come together everything's really starting to look good so uh, stay tuned guys tons more videos to come thanks